frontal hair. Hello everyone, this is Sloth from Sloth and Moose yet again with another StarCraft 2 cast. This mm -hmm. is going to be my game today and my girlfriend Kayla is going to be with me again. So uh, yeah, I just finished playing this 1v1 on Delta Quadrant and we did get close spawn position so it's good for... Uh, good for me at this point. It took me like five minutes to figure out what HF mean, meant. Means high five. High five. High five or. No, not have fun. It's not have fun. I'm gonna turn the sound down for you guys a little bit because the game sounds probably pretty high, but Moose is not with us yet again. He's all mad at me. You sound like he died. Yeah, I know. But, uh, he, uh, yeah, I was. I, I, apparently, I told him I was going to Cokeville this weekend. Let's not let's not get into this. Over but it, yeah, I have to tell him. I have to tell him. Okay. But apparently, I told him I was going to Cokeville this weekend, and when all actually in all actuality, I said I might be, and ended up uh, I didn't go to Cokeville. So he's all pissed off at me right now. He is grumpy. Yeah, he he was very grumpy the other day. And, you know, if Moose, if you're listening to this, I'm sorry. What's this little thing doing? He's uh, scouting, looking for my base. Oh. Because at this point, let's see, look, he, this is all he can see. He can't see my base over here. Quite honestly, the first place I would go was directly across. Directly across? Yeah. Well, it's that's different usually, on... That seems like it's usually how it It goes. is usually, but it, it, the only reason it is usually like that is because most of the maps only have two spawn points, oh. but this one has one. Two, three, four. So yeah. Sneaky. So right here, I did not. I did send an early scout, but I sent him all the way up here, this area, and then I sent him down here while I had my Overlord floating over here. And finally, when my drone gets over here, I realize that his base is over here, so I see his gas. And then immediately after I see that, I should send this Overlord to over here around where this gate and pylon, these pylons are, mainly because that's where. Pretty much all Protoss players like to build their stuff. But you didn't. I did. Watch. He'll he'll alter here in a second. He'll start moving this way to the left. There he goes. Oh, look at that. He's following his print line. But I did go 15 hatchery. I was a little late on my spawning pool just because I forgot it. And I even forgot he did this assimilator, actually. And I literally just played this game. Uh, did get my spawning pool pretty what late. That's why I'm so high on minerals. But, yeah, he stole my gas. But, honestly. <laughs> what a jerk. For as long as this game is, I didn't need that second gas, so it wasn't a big deal. So, I do see that he had one gate, and he was finally getting a cybernetic score. And you see his macro is just pretty terrible right now. He's got 400 minerals, so you can pretty much just expect him. And he has no nothing on gas either, and he's not making drones. I'm not... Yeah, that's what he doesn't need, one. He's got your gas. I'm not sure. He can't, but... Watch him. He could. He could have. All right, so you're saying Long distance he's got my gas, gas retrieval. And I guess he canceled it, actually. Oh. oh, well, forget that. He did throw down his cybernetics, got two more gateways, so he's going to be working off three gates pretty early. He's got this probe attacking my hatch, and my hatchery is going to go down in probably 45 minutes if just this one probe keeps attacking it. Wasn't this about the time we were like, I'm going to get raped? No. Did I ever think I was going to get raped? Yeah, you said that out loud. And then you decided, I'm going to go mass roaches. Oh, the time, See, I, yep, the right time I thought I was going to get raped was when I got no. the spawning pool down really right late. Right there. But, yeah, I got my roaches down, and I made four immediately because I had these gas. And I got pretty good, decent saturation right there. And I've only got two... Uh, drones right here, but he did send two zealots in here, and y'all are going to see some awesome queen macro. I mean, macro. <laughs> yeah, I'm macroing with my queen right now. Ma micro for my queen right now. And trying to keep this sucker alive, even getting an inject before my roaches pop out. So I got two roaches on here, and they're going to be just fine for these zealots. But this queen does have low HP. It's at 41. We'll keep an eye on that HP. 27, 28, 15. And one. It went all the way down to one before that zealot finally died. So awesome right there. I was just keep keeping it, keeping those zealots occupied. And honestly, he does, doesn't really have anything at this point. He's finally getting both of his gases, and he just doesn't have enough probes to supply all these minerals to uh, supply his gas as well. See, his gas is catching up with your minerals. Anytime your gas is even with your minerals, it's not really going to be beneficial to you. And you see at this point, I'm moving out with what is that thing? five roaches. This? No, this. Yeah, they're the same thing. It's uh, 
Autom Automaton 2000s. I think they're cleaning bots or something they put in. They are not doing a good job. <laughs> but I uh, pull up here. He's got one stalker, three zealots, and this stalker is going to go down easily, and these zealots are just going to get kind of funneled in here with my roaches. And you see I do uh, micro that one back with one HP, which was pretty balling. And I guess he noticed that and decided to come over here and grab him because I was trying to pull him back all the way back here. Huh? You predict a sentry? No. It's probably not going to happen. <laughs> He's trying to get a robo facility now, and that's strictly because of the roaches, but honestly, he just does not have the saturation he needs. At this point, I've droned up pretty hard while I was starting to attack, and I've got decent saturation on my uh, on my natural, So, and I'm just going to keep pumping roaches at this point. I pretty much know I got this game in the bag. And he does get two more sentries out, but they're just not going to do anything against these roaches. They don't do enough damage. He did say, I'm going to win. Yeah, I was right like, at this point, point, I was just like, yeah, that's game. And he does try and get Warp Gate up, because maybe if he could get some, maybe some Zealots. No, that's, it's just we said void right? Just too much at this point. Yeah, I was worried he had a hidden starport or something in his base, because I didn't do a great job of scouting, but... But honestly, one Void Ray would not have been able to take all these units out before I took out pretty much the entire base. And as y'all know, Queens are very good against Void Rays, especially hey, if they have healing. Transfuse. Yeah. They heal over time, eventually. Uh -huh. see. Yeah. See, watch. 124. And never mind. He left the game, so it doesn't matter. Oh, Edwar. So, Edwar, gold level player. Uh, not sure really what happened with his game. He's a great action shot. He was just... What happened, I think, honestly, is he's not used to seeing this 15 hatchery. And he was like, hey, I bet if I send two zealots, he will not be pre prepared for that at all. And just the travel distance between his between his main and my natural was just a little too far before I got my queen out and started getting roaches out as well. So, roaches, definitely beast against Protoss. So. Got any final words, Kayla? I liked it. I thought it was a good game. No, I need words. Even those, those are no, I don't need sentences. I just need words. Awesome. No, not not figure, not not literally. Scrumtrulescent. 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 No, scrumtrulescent. All right, guys. See you guys.